Hello, welcome to today's video. My name is Rob and I will show you five ways, different ways, how to edit and take a screenshot. So we have two different websites and I want to take a screenshot. How can we do that? Well, first of all, we can go to a built-in feature and it's called sniping tool. You go to your windows, start and you go all the way down and under windows accessories you will find sniping tool i already added it to my start button so that's why it says unpin but it's already added to my sniping uh, start button other way to get to it is press the start button s sniping tool. What you get here is a little screen pop-up thing and you have four different things you can do. First you have the three form snipe. That's basically make a big circle. There it is. So that's the first one. Let's make a new one. No snipe. The second one is rectangular snipe. Let's say I want to take a screenshot of only just this part of this page. And now I have a rectangular screenshot. Let's do another one. New snipe. We also have a delayed option. I never use it, but you know, it's there. There's another one, let's say window snipe. And now you get something interesting. If you just want to do this screen or this one, let's do this one. You see a red square around it. And when you press it, you just took a screenshot. Let's do it of this one. window and I want them of this one. And now you have a screenshot of one screen. Okay, another one. There's a third fourth option. It's the fourth mode. It's a full screen snipe. And now I took a snipe of the entire screen. There's another thing about uh, these screenshots. Let's do a new one. A smaller one. Uh, rectangular. Okay. Now we have a cow and we want to edit it. You can do it in 3D Paint. Ta-da! And all of a sudden you can... make notes or paint on it or what, what, whatever you want to do. So this is 3D paint. But I only showed you four options. You know what? I'm going to show you another two things. So now we have rectangular, right? Okay. And I want to have a screenshot and I want to edit this bit. I can say copy, go to Windows. Where are you? Accessories and go to the old paint. And over here, you can paste it from the clipboard. And there you are. And all of a sudden, you can do all sorts of other things with uh, that same screenshot. You can, for example, uh, take a freeform 
do this and I say copy and I go back to this one and I say okay paste and now I can make a screenshot of multiple screenshots there's another way that's an easier way oh by the way if you copy it to the um, to the clipboard you can paste it to your Photoshop to your paint to anywhere where you can paste it there is another way you can make a screenshot on your keyboard it says print screen if you just press print screen what it does I just pressed print screen I say new file don't save and now I say copy print screen button copies your entire screen to your clipboard and when you copy it from your keyboard uh, from your uh, from your clipboard it ends up here can I show you one more yeah that's interesting to do let's do this one so you found an awesome picture of a cow which I sell and I say okay I want to show you this and I want to show you show it to you right now I can use it as a send it as a email attachment I don't have email on this computer so I can't show you but basically when you open this a email opens up with the screenshot inside the email so I hope all of this is useful to you if you want to help me out spread all this information please share subscribe and like what I'm doing so I know that I'm not doing it for yeah no reason so please share like and subscribe thank you bye bye